Welcome back to Unforeseen Incident and welcome to our next objective. We did find Rancho last time, but he wouldn't really talk. So we have to make him talk. A couple of things we haven't done yet is to investigate the missing girl. We we did question Trish a little bit and I think we talked to the barmaid. But we're going to see or the barista. We're going to see what else we can find out. Let's check out. There we go. That's our our plan here. So let's go back to the docks. The crates look like they've been here for years. Didn't mean to check those out, but never mind. Actually, since you're here. I better show this to someone I can trust. Well, that's a fair point. Let's go to our most trusted barista. Do you know this girl by any chance? Yeah, that's Amber Smith. She used to hang out here before she took off. Took off? Just up and left in the middle of a semester. At least that's what the cop said. Her roommate Mika never believed it though. Hence the posters. What happened to Amber exactly? No one really knows. She just cleared out. It happens sometimes with freshmen, but I didn't take her for the type to lose her head over a guy. A guy? She started seeing this guy, Ricardo. Who's Ricardo? He's not a student, but he always hung out on campus. Used to be Trisha Parker's boyfriend. You know Trisha? She works at the library? Trish, of course. Did Ricardo have something to do with Amber disappearing? That's what a roommate thinks, but the cops didn't pursue it. He had some rock solid alibi, and apparently people drop off the map all the time in a big city. What do you think? I don't know. Amber didn't seem like the type to disappear. So Ricardo was cheating on Trisha? No, no, they were broken up before Amber. Not too long before Amber, but that's Ricardo. Okay, talk to you later. Well, that was pretty useful already. So let's talk to Trish again. Here's the city center. And let's go to the library. Do we have... I think we did buy a magnification glass. Yeah, we did get it. It's good to know. We might need that later. We never need all the items. We did need the fish food. Even though it did give us two additional lines, three actually, depending on how you count, so that is important. All right. Hey, do you recognize this person? I don't think so. I see so many people here at the library. It's Amber, the girl who went missing. Really? Oh, I, I didn't know her. I hope she's okay. But did you really? Hey, Trish. Oh, hey, Harper. Tell me about Ricardo. Ricardo? How do you know Ricardo? I just heard you two were an item and I had a few questions about the guy. How would you like it if I asked you a ton of questions about your ex? I don't want to make it weird. I just need to know more about him. It's really important. <sighs> what is it? How long were you and Ricardo together? Pretty long. Like three months. Three months is long? It was a pretty intense three months, you know. Well, what can I say to that? When did you last see Ricardo? Dude, do we have to do this? Please, yes. Trish. Nah, I can't explain, but it is important. <sighs> All right. We last saw each other on the night we broke up. It was on that beach he liked so much. He always took me there to show me his favorite star constellation. The Quill or something. <sighs> it was pretty romantic, I guess. The Quill? Huh. Yep, the Quill. That's my astronomical sign. So, why did you break up that night? We just wanted different things. Men are pigs, right, sister? No, it wasn't that. Ricardo was a very spiritual guy, always talking about his journey to enlightenment. That night, he asked me to join him on an actual journey. He wanted us to go live on some island. I really liked him, but I wasn't going to quit college for a guy, even if he was super hot. Super hot jerk. Where's the beach where you broke up with Ricardo? It's called Glenora Beach. Glenora. Thanks. And there we go. Got a new location. And there's an island up there as well. What a coincidence. That's enough about Ricardo for now. I agree. Let's talk about something else. Ever heard of Aquila? Aquila, that was it. That was the name of Ricardo's favorite star constellation. Let's talk more about Ricardo. Interesting. I gotta run. Bye! 
Well, Trisha likes us. She doesn't like to talk about her ex-boyfriend, which, to be fair, is understandable. So let's go to the beach. Let's see what adventures await us there. Hmm, it actually looks fairly nice. Let's look at Port Nicola. Nice skyline you got there. Got an island here. Look at those clouds. They look really cute. There it is. The island Amber Smith wrote about in her diary. Ocean. I gotta admit, Yelltown didn't have a view like this. I could get used to looking out over the big blue. It sure didn't. Oh, look at that paddles. Wouldn't want to be up a creek without these babies. There we go. They got a cute little lighthouse there. It looks really nice. I'll bet a kindly soul has left a jet ski inside this shack to help out a traveler in need. Huh. It's locked. Not a problem for aspiring felon Harper. Uh a screwdriver? Wrench maybe? I don't think I can do that. Uh let's just try all of them. File. No, I don't think that works. Mmm pincers? Can I give this lock the once over? Make sure it's still working. There we go. Well, kind of obvious in hindsight. That. Darn thing rusted away. A shame, really. Ah, oh, a dinghy. I wanted a jet ski. Ah, oh, jeez. This thing smells worse than that rubber suit. That doesn't look too bad. Let's do it. Well, I'm afraid that's not quite enough. But we do have a bike pump here. Do your thing, bicycle pump. God damn it. There must be a puncture in the dinghy. We can do something about that because we do have a bike tube patch. Huh. There's a puncture, all right. Let's get this fixed up. Done. I just hope it's seaworthy. Okay, let's try this again. Okie dokie. Let's give this a try. Nice work, bicycle pump. All aboard! That looks interesting. Just in case any of those cult dudes are still hanging around. Oh, got the rock. Didn't even mean to pick that up, but that's fine. Aquila, I've come to the right place. Yeah, I hope. I like how well, there's this official cult information center. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. The whole place feels abandoned. Well, let's try to get in here. This ventilation shaft here is definitely not large enough for us. What a shame. It won't open. Talking of large, we almost just tore the door. Well, let's try this. It's a little more secure than that shack was. I can't see a keyhole or anything. Interesting. But it's an automatic door. Well. Time for a more subtle approach. We actually got a full animation for that. Neat. And we still have power. Welcome to the Aquila Self-Actualization and Spiritual Research Center. You might be leaders in your chosen field, looking for something beyond financial success. Nope. You might be struggling with dependency and addiction. I did used to eat a lot of Cheetos. You might have suffered bereavement, found yourself lacking in direction or drive. Um, actually, yeah. You came here from is not important. A new task lies ahead of you. As applicants, you must discover how your individual talents complement each other and benefit the group. This is the first step on your journey to self-actualization. That journey began when you entered this room. Baloney. Interesting. Well, look at that. Can move this around. That's neat. You again. Fire extinguisher. Uh, yep. <sighs> Could be useful. I wonder if this is the constellation Trisha told me about. Seems likely. Below a man and a star, a cigarette. So we do have these various, various pets here. Within the firmament. So let's check all of them out. Below a man and. A star, a cigarette. Okay, well, let's put you within the firmament. 
Then let's put... Where, oh, there you are. Let's wait a bit more. My inner peace. Enlightenment and art. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this one here was the right the right order because it spoke of man and beast. But maybe it's this one here first. Okay, let's pick you up. Let's pick you up. No, 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 don't don't step on any of these. There we go, that was better. Whoa! Congratulations, applicants. You have overcome the first of many challenges. Each of you should now take a membership pack and complete the enclosed personality. Ooh. Membership test also. Behold the enlightened rock. Huh. Alright, what do we have here? Out back here too. They must have left something that can help me. Junk. Bupkis. Wait, there's something down the back of the shelf. Hmm. Slides. Neat. Welcome to the Aquila Self Research and Spiritual Actualization Center. Kool Aid is served seven till nine. Ooh, got that reference. That is an unsettling window. I could feel myself getting brainwashed just looking at it. There's nothing interesting left on the shelves. They didn't leave much here. We didn't even check that shelf, but never mind. Let's check out those slides. That wait, no, that's the pictures. They are the slides. Huh. These slides are too small to read with the naked eye. God, jeez, I just realized my eyes are naked. Well, no, not the eyes. Well, we can do something about that. Uh, there we go. This should help me read those slides. Welcome to Aquila introductory session. Your spiritual mentor, Colleen Ortega. Okay. Can we flip through these? Aquila helps you take control of your thoughts, your feelings, the life. You are the pinnacle of evolution. You are precious. Aquila teaches you self-respect, humility, spiritual loyalty. Open your mind, discover your potential. Aquila helps you find your true self, true friends, true place in the world. You stand at the apex of nature's creation. You are strong. Aquila is a philosophy, community, movement. Your life changes today. Produced and distributed in the United States. Alright, I think I got all of these. How, how do I... There we go. Let's check out this hypermodern computer. Hey! This thing's working. Sweet. Username. Well, we did get a username. Password. That's a good question. Huh. Let's just try some random passwords. Nope. Can you enter that again? Some more? Nope. Still not. There we go. Hint. Nickname. That is actually a hint. So here we have to go back to that diary. And we can't really get get anything definitive here, but 
So what you can confirm here is that Emma Smith actually has an account too. So let's maybe let's check that first. But what we actually need to know is that, as we read before, the instructor was called the Dragon. So let's try that. Oops, that's not what we want to do. So let's just do that again. C or take her. There we go. Let's use the help function. Change directory. Enter system configuration dialog. Return to root directory. Open file. List directory contents. Okay, let's go to lists. Base users rom mc. Okay, that's interesting. Access users. Tabs notes file used to access. Access readme. Um access rom mc user not cleared for x2 rom mc okay <laughs> change direction cd users can we do that cd base okay members members and recruiters that's not interesting so let's access the members database file. Huh, no access. Maybe recruiters, which you would think has a, has a, a higher security clearance, but we'll see. Oh, okay. We actually we have to access that, and we have to spell that correctly. There we go. Here we have Crystal Angie. So that's apparently her actual name. Inception terminals, so progress terminator, that sounds radical. Paul Ricardo. Chopa Corapati. Julie van Hofwegen. Illy Moravec, you look interesting to say the least. Kaitlin Edwards. Langdon Alga, something we promoted apparently. You've got one hell of a neck. Whoa, that recruiter from the 90s. Berard, he's the spitting image of the rancho guy who runs our HC. Berard, rancho, huh. Interesting, interesting. Philip Aziz, Rachel Lathe. Hmm, that does sound interesting. So, let's maybe talk to Halloway again. And let's see what we can do here. City center. Because that might be something we can blackmail Rancher with, but let's see. Let's get up here. And see what she has to say about that. Hey, hello, L. Hey, Harp. I just found the strangest place on a little island. What kind of place? I'm not sure exactly, but it has something to do with Aquila. I found a photo on their computer that is the spitting image of a young Patrick Rancho, Dominique Burrard. No way. The guy who wrote that letter? Yep. So Patrick Rancho is Dominic Burrard, and Dominic Burrard has an estranged daughter who moved and left no forwarding address. I guess she decided she didn't want daddy's dirty money anymore. I like her style. So, what now? Now, hold our nerve and keep following our leads. You did good. Could Aquila be the cult from Greystone Woods? It looks like they recruited the student whose diary I found in the radio station. That makes a kind of twisted sense. Brainwashing people under the guise of enlightenment. And controlling RHC and who knows what else. The government? Coast Guard? How can you hope to fight something like this? I should have just stayed in bed. If you'd stayed in bed in Yelltown, you'd be dead in bed in Yelltown. That's one hell of a line. All right. Enough about the sanctuary. I have literally no idea how to make Rancho talk. Rancho is a savvy con artist. It won't be easy to get anything out of him, but we've got to look for a way. Well, talk to you later. See ya, Harper. We do know a con artist. 
let's go to the dark side. The dark side of the force. I won't apologize for that. Hey, Crystal. Excuse me. What? Hey, what's Aquila? What's what? This Aquila pamphlet. What's it about? I don't know what you're talking about. When I got my stuff out of that box you stashed it in, I found this pamphlet. I don't know, dude. These Aquila people are promising enlightenment. Sounds like your brand of mumbo jumbo, doesn't it? Listen, dude, I really don't know crap about your pamphlet. Okay, I used to get paid to push those things on impressionable types, but that's it. If you want to know more, read the damn pamphlet. You used to give out Aquila pamphlets? Yes, sometimes. But I never went to any of their meetings. It was just a quick buck in between other scams. Oh, yeah? Would I lie to you? Who did you work for at Aquila? Just some guy called Ricardo. He was a recruiter, but way, way deeper into it than me. Where can I find this Ricardo? The hell if I know. He hasn't been around for weeks. Bum still owes me $20. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Excuse me. What? Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Hmm. Well, that didn't work, but... We did find out at least something that... That Crystal did indeed work for the cult, even though we, we already knew that. But, let's see... What we can do here. Ahoy! I told you I'm busy. You're Dominique Berard. Excuse me? You're Dominique Berard and you're a crook. One minute I'm a doctor, the next I'm a crook. You, sir, are certifiable. I'm right, aren't I? I don't know what you're talking about. You work for a group called Aquila. Or worked, I don't know for sure. I have no idea what you're babbling about. Leave me alone! What are you up to? Who's behind all of this? You're really starting to tick me off. Then why don't you tell me the truth? I have a better idea. I have a Glock under my shirt and 30 years range experience under my belt. Why don't you clear out before I leave the dock workers a mess to clear up? Jesus, that guy's cold. I need to get him talking. But how can I even start to sweet talk a con artist like Berard? Well, so let's go back to our old friend. Let's see what a con artist has to say about a con artist. Excuse me. What? Can you teach me how to con someone? You? Pull off a con? I'd like to see that. Well, teach me then. I really need to get information out of a guy. <laughs> okay. What you need is leverage, a good come on, and a neat get out. What kind of leverage? Sassy pictures. Sexy emails, a million bucks in Nigerian Naira, or just something you know that the Mark doesn't know you know. It's all about information. Make the Mark think you got something he wants. What if I don't have any leverage? Keep digging till you find some. What do you mean by come on? That's where you play on the Mark's emotions. Fear, greed, vanity. I can make the pictures go away. I can make you a rich man. I got the thing you want. So, what's a get out? That's the easy part. Get what you need from the mark before they find out they've been conned. Make them think they're getting everything they want, then get out. Leverage, come on, get out. You got it? Can't be so hard if you can do it. You might not find it as easy as you think. People like putting their faith in a pretty face. No one wants to put their faith in Marty McFly's creepy older brother. You better get yourself an accomplice. Well, I better stay away from you. Yep. Well, so let's go to someone who's prettier than we are. That shouldn't be too difficult. I wish could warp to Hallowell's room directly, but well, this is good enough. There we go. By the way, I like this this tennis ball, tennis ball like sitting ball thingy. Hey, hello, L. Hey, Harp. I know how we get Rancho to talk. Really? How? Mm hmm. 
This one here. We need leverage. A come on and a get out. Where is all this coming from? That's how cons work. Everybody knows that. Who taught you how to be a con artist? A reporter never reveals his source. <sighs> The important thing is, I need an accomplice. Can we go see Rancho together? All right, yes. But do we have leverage of some kind? We have his letter. Good thinking. That could actually work as leverage. Let's go see him. All right. Let's do it. He's still playing with that rope. I like how okay, Hallowell walks. It's so this? cute. We should offer Berard the letter. But why would he want it? What does it prove? I guess it proves his daughter never got his message. Do you think we should tell him Eva's moved away? What if we pretend we know where his daughter's gone? Yes. Then if he doesn't talk, he'll never find her again. That's perfect. Okay, let's do it. Hey, Berard! I got a message here from Eva. Eva? Wait a minute. You again. Leave me alone and take this girl with you. Sure, we'll leave. If you don't want to find out where Eva's gone. Eva's gone? Softly, softly. She sent your last care package back. She doesn't want your money. She needs time alone. Who are you to tell me what she needs? I know what's best for my... Wait a minute. How do I know any of this is true? Stay calm. I guess you just have to trust me. You'll wish you did when you find Eva's place empty. Deal's off. We keep her letter. Wait! Whatever you have, give it to me. First, you tell us what we need to know. Ask him why he did it. Why did you do all this? I didn't do anything. I was just an actor playing a role. If you want to find your daughter, you have to be straight with me. They paid me to keep up the RHC facade. That was it. A simple transaction. They didn't tell me their plans, and I didn't ask. He must have known something. Do you expect me to believe you knew nothing about the virus? I don't care what you believe, dear. I just said my lines and remembered my cues. All I want to do now is get my daughter out of harm's way. Give me that letter! Earn it! Ask who's behind Aquila. Who's behind all this? I don't know. I'm the dancing monkey, not the organ grinder. Harper, toss Eva's letter in the harbor. Devlin! My contact was a man named Devlin. He's a flunky, but pretty close to the top table. You know the type. Wears a black suit. Looks like he could kill you seven ways before breakfast. Sounds familiar. Ask about this Devlin. I'm a journalist, Harper. I know how to do an interview. So, does this Devlin have a first name? I'm not sure that bastard even casts a shadow. Is that the best you can do? Harper? I'm telling you everything I know. Devlin is good at covering his tracks. Better than me, apparently. Ask him about joining Aquila. How did you join Aquila? Well, I was just a recruiter, you see, bringing them new acolytes. Please understand, I was never a true believer, just a very good salesman. In the 90s, they took over this medical company, and I became Dr. Rancho. The money was incredible, but it meant I had to leave my daughter behind. You mean you chose to? Why did Aquila want him? You weren't a believer. Why did Aquila need a sleaze like you? Well, in 92, they had this problem. There was a snafu, and an outbreak killed a few people in a village near Aquila HQ. A few? How many? Nearly all of them. Aquila needed a smooth talker to step in front of the cameras and make the story go away. Where's Aquila HQ? So, where's the Aquila HQ? Search me. Probably near the mining town I mentioned. Coho? Cojones or something? Cojona? What Dingus said. You're a monster, Berard! Harper! Okay, okay, I've heard enough. Then give me the letter! Let's go. Wait! Where's the letter from Eva? This is just money! I thought the money was what you cared about. Ooh, you got bounce. Where's Eva? Tell me! Where's Eva? 
tell me, please. That was kind of sad. Hello. Jane, it's Rupert. Are you with Harper? I'm here, Professor. Jane, you both have to drop everything and come to my lab. What is it, Rupert? It's extraordinary. I, I don't want to be premature, but I think I've found our vaccine. No way! That's great! We'll be right over. Ha ha ha! We did it! Oh dear. Hello, hello. Devlin. I just overheard something very interesting. Something about a vaccine. Uh, no, no. Slow down, Rupert. You're gonna have plenty of time to tell me everything. That doesn't sound good. Professor? Jesus Christ! Well, that wasn't good at all, was it? But before we continue, we have to solve this hacking mini game. This this looks more complicated than it used to. Okay, that doesn't really help us. Spinning this doesn't really matter because we have... Do we want to spin this around? Uh, I guess we could. Because we do have... have access to all directions here anyway. So we've activated one. That's I suppose that's progress. Let's see. Can spin you around. There we go. Here we go, does this get us, I mean, now no, all of these are connected, but does it get us anything? That's the question. Um, what else could we do? We could move you like this. There we go, then we have two activated, that sounds good to me. This one has to be activated, we are one of those two. So we should activate one of these here. Uh, let's try it like this for now. There we go. And... Mm, that doesn't really get us much, or does it? Not really. Okay. What else can we do? We can activate you. But we don't really need to do that right now. You could be activated via this here. Uh, I could spin you guys around a little bit as well. Do we need all of you? We don't really need this. Do we need this bridge here? Not really, because that didn't really get us anything anyway. Okay. See, so that activates all of these. Now only these two here are left. We can activate you like this. And see, so these are already activated via this. So we don't really need that. There we go. And then the, what's the best way to get you activated? That's the question. I guess what you could do is try to get you activated. Uh... Let's see. That does not work. That just deactivated everyone there. Oh yeah, because the beams don't go through, that's that's fair. Nope, can't do that either. So what's the best solution here? That is the question. Hmm. Can't really no, can't really activate you, but that's fair. Pretty sure this is a little bit easier than I think it is. Huh. Actually. There we go.